Hello and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. Can you believe that we are now in the last few chapters of Genesis? When I started the Daily Visual Bible, a couple of questions I was asked was how I would be able to produce a show every day and how far into the Bible would I record? The honest answer to the first was then and is today, only with a lot of prayer and reflection. The honest answer to the second at the time was that I would probably get halfway through Genesis. I find it a blessing that I have proved myself wrong on this matter and I pray that I will continue for a long time to come. I feel we've come a long way together by only covering the first book of the Bible. I look forward to our continued relationship as we explore more of what the Bible actually has to say. Don't forget that you can email me directly at dailyvisualbible at gmail.com and you can check out the website at www.dailyvisualbible.co.uk Of course, as always, you can find links to these in the description box below. When you're checking out those links, I ask you to consider the link of a friend of mine. Richard Turner will be cycling 207 miles to fight against human trafficking. Please carefully consider sponsoring this noble cause at www.justkiving.com forward slash A21 cycle. When you consider that the average age of a trafficking victim is 12 years of age, I trust you see the importance of this charity. That 12 year old is bound to be somebody's daughter or little sister. And let's do the right thing and open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Genesis chapter 49 Jacob called to his sons and said, Gather yourselves together, that I may tell you that which will happen to you in the days to come. Assemble yourselves and hear, you sons of Jacob, listen to Israel your father. Reuben, you are my firstborn, my might and the beginning of my strength, excelling in dignity and excelling in power. Boiling over like water, you shall not excel, because you went up to your father's bed, then defiled it. He went up to my couch. Simeon and Levi are brothers. Their swords are weapons of violence. My soul don't come in to their counsel. My glory don't be united to their assembly. For in their anger they killed men. In their self-will they hamstrung cattle. Cursed be their anger. For it was fierce and a wrath for it was cruel. I will divide them in Jacob, and scatter them in Israel. Judah, your brothers will praise you. Your hand will be on the neck of your enemies. Your father's sons will bow down before you. Judah is a lion's cub. From the prey, my son, you have gone up. He stooped down, he crouched as a lion, as a lioness, who will rouse him up. The scepter will not depart from Judah, or the ruler's staff, from between his feet, until he comes to whom it belongs. To him will the obedience of the peoples be, binding his foal to the vine, his donkey's colt to the choice of vine. He has washed his garments in wine, his robes in the blood of grapes. His eyes will be red with wine, his teeth white with milk. Zebulun will live at the haven of the sea. He will be a haven of ships. His border will be on Sidian. Issachar is a strong donkey, lying down between the saddlebags. He saw a resting place, that it was good, the land, that it was pleasant. He bows his shoulder to the burden, and becomes a servant doing forced labour. Dan will judge his people, as one of the tribes of Israel. Dan will be a serpent on the trail, another in the path that bites the horse's heels, so that his rider falls backward. I have waited for your salvation, Yahweh. A troop will press on God, but he will press on their heel. Ash's food will be rich, he will produce royal dainties. Now Tully is a doe set free, who bears beautiful thorns. Joseph is a fruitful vine. A fruitful vine by the spring. 
his branches run over the wall. The archers have severely grieved him, shot at him and persecuted him, but his bow remained strong. The arms of his hands were made strong, but the hands of the mighty one of Jacob, from there is the shepherd, the stone of Israel, even by the God of your father who will help you, by the Almighty who will bless you, with blessings of heaven above, blessings of the deep that lies below, blessings of the breast and of the womb, the blessings of your father have prevailed above the blessings of your ancestors, above the boundaries of the ancient hills. They will be on the head of Joseph, on the crown on the head of him who is separated from his brothers. Benjamin is a ravenous wolf. In the morning he would devour the prey, at evening he would divide the plunder. All these are the twelve tribes of Israel, and this is what their father spoke to them, and blessed them. He blessed everyone according to his blessing. He instructed them, and said to them, I am to be gathered to my people, bury me with my fathers in the cave that is in the field of Ephron, the Hittai, in the cave that is in the field of Machpelah, which is before Mamre, in the land of Canaan, which Abraham bought with a field from Ephron, the Hittite, as a burial place. There they buried Abraham and Sarah's wife. There they buried Isaac and Rebekah, his wife. And there buried Leah, the field and the cave that is therein, which was purchased from the children of Heth. When Jacob finished charging his sons, he gathered up his feet into the bed, and yielded up the spirits, and was gathered to his people.